Welcome back everyone to update number four. Let me just come out a little bit. So, a big pile of mess. <laughs> no, it's not. We're going to start the first board. As you see, I've got some, some paper and some polystyrene. I put in, <clears throat> excuse me moi, a double track bed. And I've used Let's see if I can just spot one. I've got one there somewhere. Where is it? It's not coming out on camera. There it is. Use the screws instead of the track pin. What I usually do is I'll track pin my track down, then I'll ballast it, wait for it to dry, and then I'll remove the pins after and then reuse the pins. But today, I thought I'd try something different. And uh, there's another one there. What can I say? Apart from, it doesn't work for me. Just quickly before we go and start the modeling, you saw that I bought a couple of episodes ago, the tricks version. I got a rower version, obviously the tricks was all singing and all dancing, DCC sound and all the rest of it. This one is DC, so I need to get it converted. But guess how much? 48 pound. 48 pound. I swear I am not lying. 48 quid. Can't believe it. So, And the wheels, they look super clean as well. I don't think this has hardly even been used. And um, got all the original paperwork and everything. So it's absolutely mint. So I'm going to send this off. I'm going to get a DCC fitted from Rob from Boomerang. But yeah, very nice. £48. I know I've had quite a few messages over the last couple of weeks, especially last couple of weeks, you know, saying why I haven't been posting up and when's my next video out and all the rest of it. Well, it's out now, but I just want to explain why. And... That concerns me a lot, osteomyelitis, because osteomyelitis basically um, makes sepsis look like a little baby. And um, and given the fact that my 73 amputations, most of which were due to infections, so I'm kind of quite concerned. But uh, just there, uh, grade four, that's pretty much you don't get worse than grade four. Basically, he could have, instead of writing two pages of all this, he could have just put, this guy's fucked. <laughs> and he's frustrated. <laughs> so, yeah. We've had lots of conversations, so I don't know, I don't know where we go from here, but, um, yeah, that, that word up there does concern me quite a bit. And last thing I want is uh, to lose my whole left arm, because I've still got use of my left hand, just not the actual arm. So, uh We'll see, but I just thought I'd just uh, update you guys, and uh, we'll see. I've got, an, as it says there somewhere, in the, if you want to pause it, uh, MRI scan next week. So we'll go from there, but we're going to bash on with the modelling. So let's go up to the shed. Let's do some modelling, guys. So welcome back, guys. You saw in the first minute or so, just basically the basic board. I know in the last video you saw a bit of paper mash in. I've used a number of product products. I've got um, a lot of sort of packing paper which I've used to go underneath to do the general contours and it's come out really, really nice. I've literally just done some basic scattering. It's all going to be sort of forestry back here. So there's going to be lots of trees and also on the edges I've used um, sculptor mold. I love doing it. I've got in a moment messy hands i'll show you that in a second you can see here i've got a couple of wagons from china it's kind of like it is a static model the wheels do kind of roughly move uh, the bogies are, are, need to be freed up but it's a little project for indoors and this will turn into a really really nice rake i'm not gonna give anything away just just yet but i've got a, a really good plan with this and all will be revealed. I shall get a part every month for this rake. 
but as you can see got a nice I'm just gonna come out a little bit starts at the rolling hills and um, it's yeah looking actually nice and grand I'm really pleased how it's turning out as I said I didn't do this on camera because it wasn't really sort of a place to do well to place the camera but I will on the next board and I'll show you that shortly first of all just want to give a little shout out to my main man Mr Iron Horse who's uh and I'll put the link in the description to the the offending video he's uh <laughs> he's now the new lord of the galaxy and got himself an even bigger bar so I need to wait for Christmas stock if there is any to come in and uh yeah I try and regain my title of lord of the galaxy and if I don't I've got a little method of cheating as well so but yeah I'll put the link in the description he was doing some scenery the only thing I will say it's I've seen plenty of people use uh sort of tea bag tea leaves for ground cover and then obviously building up the, the you know the the scenery but I it doesn't sit right with me tea goes in a cup <laughs> I'll show you what I've used later on, uh, maybe in this video, um, if not in the next one. But basically I've got a couple of scoops of earth from my garden and I sieved it through. And it's come out nice and fine, so we'll be using that for the, for the bank of the river. But overall, I'm really pleased how it's turned out. And uh, I'll just, there you can see I've got still plaster on my hands still still a little bit damp but we should do the the ends I've left the ends on purpose because basically I want to connect this to the next board and uh, we'll show you that just shortly so as I said that back seam will get removed because it will go once I move, it all goes one piece all the way along. And we'll have, well, there'll be plenty of trees on here anyway, so at the back there especially. So uh, what do we need for this bit of the project? What we'll do is we'll go through it. I've got the board in place now. I'm just wiggling my way through and we'll show you the, the amount of stuff that you actually do need for this sort of stuff. So uh, obviously I'll need a, my wood jig to cut out the shape of the hills. I've got a little tray of tools and bits and pieces there. No nails always comes in handy. I was given some uh, hmm, aquarium stone. So I'm probably going to use that for, it's not going to be a river. It's more going to be a, of a stream, a wide stream. But that will come apparent soon. Got a little bit of ballast there, I need to get some more of that. And we've got a big pile of paper, which I use for the underneath of the hills for support. What I do once I've done the paper mashing, I'll just come out a little bit. My wife uh, sells this, that's what she does, is uh, it's cross stitch fabric. Uh, let me see if I can, yeah, you can see the holes there. So it actually molds quite well to the, to the shape of what you want to, um, make. So it is quite pliable, especially when it gets with 50, 50, uh, PVA water and dries nice and solid. So that's good. I've got my little bucket there. I've got my sculptor mold there. I've got my camera stand, which I'll need to show you guys. I'll see if I can lift the lid up on this. Probably not. I'll have to show you another time. But basically, I've got some uh, sieved out earth, some bits of twigs and stuff, which will come hand handy for the riverbank. Got my water bottle. Got my craft knife. And we'll come down this side. I've got the bridge. And we'll mark everything up shortly. Got some scenery. Need to invest in some more, kind of running out. I've got some static left there. Box of scenery, I've got my uh, 
a layering spray, crafting tool, got me a applicator, got a little bit of scatter, which again I need to get some more. Got some blocks of wood to use for support, got me drill, got cork. I've never, well not never, I hardly ever use cork, but I do on this part of the layout, I do want to use and get that um that sort of banking on the from the sleepers just so it yeah for aesthetics more than anything it doesn't it doesn't quieten the low codes or anything like that i just uh so i've never really really bothered with it too much got my track it's all soldered in some feeders onto it got a back scene which i'm not going to put on yet because i don't want to wreck it with when i come to do the plastering so I shall put the back scene onto the onto the, the board and then I shall wait to screw it into the back once I've done the plaster and stuff. We've got a big pot of PVA. So that's a few things on the list. We've also got plenty of sort of older off cuts of wood, which I shall use for basically the track bed and just for supports for the for the hills, because this is gonna be like rolling hills and etc etc so we sure you cut them to to shape and size just for quickly show you the rough outline so i'm gonna have the the bridge going at that angle so it basically looks like it's going off in the distance and you know it'll be hidden the end of it will be hidden sort of by wooded and grass ver verges and stuff so you won't see it going off anywhere and obviously there'll be a, a back scene there anyway again this will be sloping down the wiggly lines are donating the the river gonna have a little sort of area which is gravel but not with water then there'll be sort of like i suppose in in this area a bit of a rock face that'll be those two lines there is where the, the track's going to go and on the other side will be the side where the camera stand and knife is that's going to be a sort of rolling hills so it'll be higher than the actual track just come out and the river and then carry on to this point and then we've got <coughs> excuse me just again just roughly outlined where the road will go because there's always sort of a road near a train track in Poland. So this again, once we come round the corner here, and we'll come into a straight, and then once I've done this bit, it will then hook into another bridge or a double bridge just here straight. And then the river will basically curve off that way. And there'll be a start of like, you know, all the points and, um, you know leading up to the to the main station so this will be yeah pretty much a river stream very shallow i'm going to do it clear so you can see the bottom i've got a few ideas with some uh, scenery and that will come apparent so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go and cut a ton of wood and uh, get all that sort of put in place and uh, we'll bash on I really do like, I love doing the scenery, it's just, for me, it's the main, the main thing about modelling trains, it's just, just lose yourself and time just goes, well, it just goes, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to this build, and doing this corner module, so there'll be this piece, there'll be another piece attached to this, and yeah, it's going to take a while, but I'm looking forward to it. So we've got a bit more done. As I said earlier in the video, I do apologize. This, obviously I'm doing everything with one arm. Yes, I've got the movement of my actual left hand, but not of my left arm. So, you know, you're gonna have to bear with me, guys, and it's, it's just gonna be slow. And I said, I will try and produce a video a month. Um, sometimes I might be able to get two out but you know it's it's just gonna it's just slow going it was slow going anyways but obviously with the with the arm it's even worse so anyways 
we've got some uh, styrofoam I've kind of cut to the shape so uh, la, 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 we got our river just started to take shape uh, we got our hills I've just sliced through while it was still damp with a knife just when I do obviously take them apart and chuck them in the back of a van and, and move you know there's not going to be any sort of big crumblings and and all that so that's fine done on the edge uh, hopefully you can yeah you can see that mixture of uh, four and six mil scatter so we're up to the edge on this side there's going to be like a, a decline in the track so it'll then come back down to baseboard level so I'm basically showing you all this now because I've run out of sculptor mold but just wanted to give you the general picture of just pops and gravel under and uh, we'll put some clear resin over the top there'll be a, a bit of greenery and, and stuff but just wanted to give you the general idea of how it will be I'm just going to come back a bit it was it looked such a big board when I put it down and now it just seems tiny so I've got a few bits of wood to cut and uh, we got a start of our road here so that needs to be glued down um, it was a nightmare cutting this styrofoam actually it was a right mess I just literally just cleaned up so I thought I'd uh, yeah just show you how far I've got like I said I've come to a standstill I've just ordered some more um, sculptor mold and I've got some a few more bits of wood to, to cut out for the back there so I'll start doing the, the paper mache and, and all that stuff for the back but I'll come in the next video and uh, hopefully I can get my camera set up somewhere so you guys can <coughs> excuse me again so a man with no fingers doing some modelling. Well, trying to anyways. But yeah, I'm really pleased how it's coming along. And I'm going to wind this video up here now. And um, hopefully it won't be too long before the next video comes out. Because uh, basically I, I've got my plan. I know what I'm doing. It's just a case of just cracking on with it. So I'll see you soon, guys. And uh, just bear with me. You know my situation. Take care. See you now.